Now, several civil society groups have called on the Plata State Government to be more transparent in the distribution of palliatives to residents of the state. They spoke to newsmen in Jos, the Plata State capital, calling on residents to demand accountability from the state government. People should be carried along. Nigerians would need to demand for accountability on how these palliatives are being distributed and what are the indices, what data are they using to justify who is the poorest of the poor in different local communities. When the government says, okay, today, between today and Sunday, we are going to be having break for people to enable people to restock, the question is with which money are they going to use to restock in their houses? These are questions we are not asking. And so if we, we, we need to now start employing other innovative measures, like other countries that are already opening up their, their countries to enable economies. You cannot shut down everything. As of today, we've lost billions of, of, of dollars. While observing other measures, you should not at any point throw people off guard because people are hiding under this culture of impunity to so begin to also manhandle people. You can see at different levels across states, there's a lot of uh, executive recklessness. We've also seen some culture of impunity from the security arms and the rest. Thus far, with what the government has bantered around at the federal level and many state level, the process is not accountable, the process is not that inclusive, the process is not transparent. As a result of lockdown in Nigeria, we lost 19 persons because of uh, mil uh, law enforcement brutality, uh, recklessness and cruelty. In fact, for us on the plateau, we are looking at it, our own human rights uh, committee, they are looking at it.